Okay, so what happened? Looks like uh, you're stuck over here. Yeah, I don't want to get the engine get wet. Oh, you don't want to get the engine. Uh, you don't want the engine to get wet, eh? Yeah, let's see the tight. Well, according to weather station, they told me that it, uh, it reaches uh, 5.1, 3.30 today. So, it's 3.31 right now, so I think it reaches the highest point already, so I think it's going down soon. Did you run this way a while ago? Oh. Uh, we came to that store there, but it's also like this. But, did you ever use this road before? So when you used to run here before, was it high tide like this? First time I ever. First time, eh? To see it. First time to stop here. First time to get stuck here? <laughs> There's a number of houses and people living in this area, so the biggest question is uh, where are we going to be taking them to after this, if this will continue to happen. Now you can see that uh, this is the, the taro badges and these are the taros. And uh, here in Micronesia, the taros are very important food, uh, local foods, very important for our diet. And uh, the people of Micronesia have been living over these taros for many many years but uh, now that the tide is going up or the sea level is going up it actually floods this area this taro patch because this taro patch is located on the, the coastal area here in this, in, this, here in this village and the tide goes up and it actually floods this area and then it changes the quality of the water here and and, and that's why you can see that the taro's leaves are actually green but now you can see here it's time where you can see behind me that the leaves of these taros uh, turn yellow and that's because of sea level rise and this is a very big problem because uh, it destroys these, these taro patches. Here in uh, Awak village uh, in Bombay, you can see this area is being flooded as well. And look at these kids. This is their playground, and they they own this land. But then I I'm a bit worrying about them. I'm thinking of where will they go in the future if if the sea level will continue to rise and cover their area. That's the biggest problem that we have right now because uh, we're very concerned about the future generation and these children. Uh, where will they live if this problem will not stop? Uh, these boys are drinking uh, kava, which is known as uh, sakao in, in Bonape or in Pompe. Uh, actually, they were, they were supposed to be using this rock over here, but because of uh, the tide that was going up, they had no choice but to move to the other rock over there. So, this shows that uh, sea level rise also have an impact on the cultural events on the island. The Epicentrum government is very concerned about climate change 
and we have a government delegation who have been voicing our concerns during the international climate negotiations. But at the grassroots level, an NGO like the Conservation Society of Bombay, or CSB, also plays its role in minimizing the impacts of climate change we may face. Some said we should do mitigation, like renewable energy projects, even though we contribute very little greenhouse gas emissions, which is also good to support sustainable development. But more of CSP's focus is adaptation as climate change is already happening and it's time to prepare for it. So the Conservation Society and its partner agencies are working very closely with the local communities to set up and manage their conservation areas, both on the land and sea. And in this case, they are not just protecting these biodiversities to improve the livelihood of people, but also keeping these ecosystems healthy so they can cope with the changes such as sea temperature rise, droughts, flooding, and other changes of weather patterns. And of course, education and public awareness programs on the issue are being implemented as well. Uh, the climate change negotiations has been taking place uh, for more than 10 years uh, already. And uh, while these negotiations are happening, at the same time these highlands are slowly being destroyed by sea level rise or climate change. So right now we're doing the best as we can uh, to protect our natural resources in order to, to cope with the changes. But we totally need support from the international community. Uh, we want them to put their policies in place that will help us a lot. Uh, to make sure that we don't lose our islands. And we cannot do this alone. We, people in the Pom Pompeii, uh, the rest of Micronesia and the Pacific Islands, we really cannot do this alone. Therefore, we need support from the, the international community. Uh, this is a, a global issue and, and we need global solutions. Yeah. So we have to work together on this. Lots of people are talking about climate change, sea level rise, and global warming. And I'm really worried about those uh, areas because since we're, we're on a small island, it will totally affect us and it will affect our future generations.